I watch porn and I be seeing <laughs> niggas eat pussy and I be like, that shit terrible. I watch porn. <laughs> I be like, that shit terrible. Like, what are you doing? Right, look, you feel like you're struggling. Speaking of porn, like, oh shit. Speaking of porn on podcast. <laughs> now, you be like this. Have you ever, you, ever, you ever been doing it and you try to like act out a porn scene? Oh, fuck movie? yes. But the thing is, you think about like one of your partners or somebody close to you, what the hell they were thinking, they see you doing that shit. Kind so of doing too. these weird ass positions. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Now they see you. Certain times like people start to be creative. When you, you, once you get older, you, you realize your positions and you go to your positions. Yeah. You don't go out the wall because then you catch a cramp. But I'm telling you like this. If I, if I put my feet on the floor, I got to put them goddamn tennis shoes. Hold on, wait a second. Hold on, where the fuck is he gonna be at? Wait a second. Where else is he gonna make it up? I'm just saying, because sometimes you like to, you know, put on the head and you put your feet on the Oh, you have some socks on all the time. No, I'm not putting no socks. Socks, you, you, no traction. Tennis shoes or Tim's. Are you yeah. on wood flow? Are you on, on marble? Or are you on carpet? Flow, flow in general. Yeah, flow in general. Them tennis shoes going on. Oh, Ash right. Megan was a pair of damn Oh, nigga, I had a, uh, talking about that? I ain't had a. Podcast, but I call you the game. Man. I call you when I get done, man. Oh, this old ass thing, man. I got invited on podcast. I got invited on podcast. Hey, man, that's the stuff and shit. That's the old people shit. Invited on podcast. Yeah, baby, it's gonna be on YouTube. Nah, that's my cousin. That's the one I do the podcast with. You like cousin? It's gonna be on YouTube. Like a nigga going OG YouTube. Hey, how can I reach it? My number is three one four. Hold on, real quick. Yeah, hold on, real quick. I got to three. The numbers, get the what you say? That? One 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 three. <laughs> you got to buy it on the podcast. Yeah, I, so I, I, I seen this thing the other day on TikTok, and the dude was like, um, he tired of women lying to niggas in the bedroom when they, when they give a head and doing all the make all that showing and oh, that everything I'm talking about. Uh, he said, nigga, I thought, for the first time I ate pussy, he said, I thought I was the master eating pussy. I was sitting there licking the hole the whole time. <laughs> he ain't licking nothing. <laughs> he said, nothing, nothing, licking the hole the whole time. He said, he commanded the women that tell men that they fuck it up so they can get better. Yeah, Have you ever not method. lied to a nigga while he gave you head? Yep. Damn. You ain't shit, man. I knew you wasn't shit. I um, actually, it, it you... wasn't even a lie because I didn't even make, a, make noise. You did this? Hey, <laughs> 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 okay. nigga, what the fuck you doing? I'm looking at you. <laughs> now, now, hey, you. You try to take his head like a jelly. Yeah. So he thought. So he <laughs> he's like, why you put my shit like on. this? He could catch on. I was trying to help him maneuver, and he. Yeah, he just couldn't like, catch on. He tried to. He tried to. He was hating right. some shit. Just trying to tell you, I want it this way. It feel good. So you ain't he go like this to you. Oh shit. Hey, how am I doing? No. You should put <laughs> you ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you just dry it up. Huh? <laughs> we're done. You, 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 you should grab the table. Hey, hey, hey. You, you missing the spot. You, 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 like, you, I do be having some of Damn, that's hard. He's up. Okay. He's all Punch aggressive. He's all aggressive. He's not getting teeth, no gums. Man. <laughs> Man. Man. I ain't he's he's not going to run away. <laughs> he, no, he might. Did, did he just fast lick the whole time? Cause I heard women say that ain't just that. Just I watch shit. porn and I be seeing niggas eat pussy and I be like, that shit terrible. I watch porn. <laughs> I be like, that shit terrible. Like, what are you doing? Right, look, you feel like you're struggling. Speaking of porn, like, oh shit. Speaking of porn on the podcast. <laughs> now, y'all be like this. Have you ever, you, ever, you ever been doing it and you try to like act out a porn scene? Oh, fuck thing? yes. But the thing is, you think about like one of your partners or somebody close to you, what the hell they were thinking, they see you doing that shit. Kind so of doing too. these weird ass positions. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now they see you. Now, <laughs> certain times like people start to be creative. When you, you, once you get older, you, you realize your positions and you go to your positions. Yeah. You don't go out the wall because then you catch a cramp. But I'm telling you like this. If I, if I put my feet on the floor, I got to put them goddamn tennis shoes. Hold on, wait a second. <laughs> Hold on, where the fuck is he gonna be at? Wait a second. Where else is he gonna make it up? No, I'm just saying, because sometimes you like to, you know, put on the head and you put your feet on the Oh, you have some socks on all the time. No, I'm not putting no socks. Socks, you, you, no traction. 
Tennis shoes or Tim's? Are you yeah. on wood flow? Are you on, on marble? Or are you on shit, car carpet? Flow in general. Yeah, flow in general. Them tennis shoes going on. Oh, okay. Ash nigga was a pair of damn Oh, nigga, I had a, uh, talking about that, I ain't had a pause from reset and turn the game off with them fucking having sex with some chick. Talking about you ever talking to some shit? Someone with this chick a long time ago doing some things to her. And all of a sudden, I saw something, and I was just like, you know what? Let me go ahead and go to the pause menu real quick, go to settings, go to end game. Do not save, because I don't want to come back to this shit again. And I had to leave the situation. That was a bad time. I'm trying to, you know, I never how, do, how do we get here? <laughs> how, do we get, how do we get to the That has the time. <laughs> to play the game and still start at the same time. So, was she, did she come and just initiate this as you play the game, or you started? Oh, I wasn't playing the game. That's how I, I, I acted. I, was like, I acted like it was a game. Because at a certain point, we were doing our thing, and then oh, all of a sudden. Okay. He was role playing. Yeah. See, whatever. What, 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 yeah. What, and then all of a sudden, what, what, I was just like. Okay. I saw I'm stuff. I was just like, you know what? <laughs> I said, nah, you know what? Settings. Leave game. What, 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 Don't what, what, save. What, what, the controls making noises? <laughs> that's three. That's three. I don't give a fuck what you said. That's three. You don't make noise. You hit the buttons and shit. No, you're so, you were sound like a typewriter. Oh, my bad. You know what I'm saying? That's only three in the fucking 30 minutes. It's <laughs> 30 minutes. Shit. Tell me, Vine, if we get the six. <laughs> so, your, so your role playing thing was like when you play the game system. It's like, ooh, pause. Come on in. Take this vibe. Do you know I had my blue cheek? You don't have my blue cheek? <laughs> Uh uh-uh. uh. That's how it was. And you put a controller down real something like, hold on, I don't want to get I don't want to get uh controller drag. I'm gonna put it down real That was gentle. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna control that one. Controller drag. Yeah, I don't talk about controller. You right about that. You see? You're trying to get blue chip. I can be pissed blue off. Choo-choo. I'm like this. Now you needed a hundred pack. <laughs> no, they said the, the that's just more healthier for you than a hundred pack. I ain't fucking with a hundred pack ever get yeah. in life. The blue shoe is more healthier than a hundred pack. Honey pack's like you a hundred pack. But you a freaking nigga. Who? This nigga here. Oh, yeah. I ain't got to you yet. I feel like yours is worse than his. It probably is. Mm-hmm. God forbid. But as a man, oh, though, I need to hear this. I can't. I can't. I, I got to. I can't have nobody down there sucking on me and you fucking up and me just acting like you doing good. Yeah, well, no, you don't have a long. This ain't that. Scrape me. I'm bopping you. Yeah, this, this ain't your tooth to hit the left testicle three times now. Yeah. Oh, you do your tooth to hit the left testicle. Raise a hand, baby girl. I'm gonna need you your hand. You can feel side. that teeth scraping the inside of my thing. Mm-hmm. So if I'm the doing, only thing I can I'm doing like, like donkey tongue. Look, look. You're not a laughing taffy, bitch. And you need to stop chewing. Look, okay, <laughs> stop chewing. It's not a laughing taffy. Cause like you, you know, you see me doing this shit. Like, ah, right, you know, you trying you to. You can't feel me. Feel me doing this? Head, I feel like when you peel an apple, that's how I feel like that shit be happening when they doing it wrong. Like, like, what did you scrape him in for? We grown here. Y'all know I like them old ass women, so they should know that half of them shouldn't even have no teeth popping motherfuckers out. <laughs> 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 she doing the fuck out of that shit. Popping motherfuckers out. Why no, you got, baby. Why you got the teeth in anyway? The side effect is the trouble. <laughs> this is my out. permanent. <laughs> I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about like, you know, I don't know. Why you got them in there? You can do it like that. You can do it like that. Light, the lights off. I ain't I've never had a problem, son. First time. I can see Sid doing this. Turn the light back on. Bitch, why are your dentures in? <laughs> why? Why are your dentures in your mouth? I put Take a cup with the, with the acid seltzer next to the bed. He put the mocha in there. We talked about this. <laughs> the glass has been sitting here since you walked in, David. I can only pick you going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, turn <laughs> on the light. What are you hold doing? On, wait a second. She was still on. Wait a second. All right, I'm telling you. What the fuck are you doing? We talked about it. We talked about it. You know your football coach. The whole ride over there, we talked about it. Your football coach. I know I already. Hey, first of all, we came in with the game play. You you didn't follow X to the Y, and the running back didn't make it down the hole. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I'm right. We talked about it. <laughs> we didn't get a touchdown this time because of you. We had conversations on the phone all week long. When I come over this motherfucker, you checking them some bitches out. <laughs> Yeah. I gave you a plan last time. He said some bitches out. Some yeah, bitches. Take your mind. Cause I, we, I look, last time I gave you a plan, you shrieked me a couple of times. I'm like, ah, right, you know. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you know. It's, you know, it's, it's, you, know it, it, you you might have been nervous. This is our first time. You nervous, I'm nervous. So I gave you a plan. When I seen you pop them motherfuckers out the next morning. <laughs> well, I don't got them goddamn teeth man next time. You hear me? And them bitches be hard as fuck. So... When I came back the second time, the discussion was made, Bond. We talked about this. Why the fuck did you have them in? You scraped me. Why did we get here? <laughs> we got here by you thinking home. <laughs> That's how we got here. You let the dude lick your booty in your, in your hole down there and wait looking at me and you both be licking. He told me the clip was south, not north. <laughs> That's how we got here. I, I'm so how long did you let him do it for? Before, before you corrected him. Ten and a half. 
Nigga, <laughs> no. nigga halftime. Nigga was a whole game. So he probably thought he was doing something. He like nigga ran home. Oh, she speaks. Hey, my nigga, I ate the shit out this she girl. She speaks. She can't talk. Really? That's what he no. did. No. <laughs> you got a good two minutes. Two minutes. If you can't adjust it with it, I need you to. That nigga probably blew on you too. <laughs> okay. Now, now let me ask you this. Damn. I don't like you today. <laughs> so if he didn't do that good, they leak, they they lay that pipe good. No. Oh hell no! This nigga got a zero star review. <laughs> he, he wasn't Mario or Luigi. God damn. Yeah, he wasn't Mario oh. or Luigi. So he, he was out here. He was out here Mario and Luigi. Couldn't couldn't do anything right. Yeah, Everything fucked yeah, up. Yeah, he he just he, he struck all the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't on nobody roster. Did Google you ever, review. Did you ever let him back? Did you give him a yelp? No. You didn't give him a yelp. Okay. What? Listen, <laughs> listen. He didn't get I've said this grade. before. Do not <laughs> sit here and tell me all the shit that you want to do and what you can do. Mm -hmm. And when I get it, it's a disappointment. I will never come. Again. She said that nigga the opposite of five stars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You well, said the five stars of GTA when you get caught. Look, no this shit ain't what it is. Take your ass to jail type shit. That's the thing. That's what people fuck up. Reverse. That's, that's what niggas fuck up. <laughs> Reverse. You fuck up when you go talk about everything you can do. Not knowing it. You, you got to know in your mind. God damn, we have off night. Just like you got off night on the court. Mm -hmm. We have off night in the bed one night. So you can't go and talk about all the shit you can do. No, you no, can have that one if night. You shit, I tell you I suck all the time. Purposefully. You can't talk to all night. Got me over there. That's really hot. I really like that. Look, I tell him I got a cramp. Not even, cramp not even some shit. to be on that. Just if we, if I come over. Come over? Because you know how I am. Mm -hmm. If I come over. You made the effort to come over there already. Yes. Mm -hmm. Th that was step one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the time the night is, is close to being done, mm -hmm. and you ain't done half of the shit that you said yeah. that you was going to do in that text message or over the phone. Mm -hmm. He Thank blew. you for your service. He blew in it, though. No. <laughs> At this point in my Thank life, you for your service. if I go to a girl's house, I just want her ass to be naked watching TV and mom just, just go in and just let me do my thing. At this point, be. I don't even want... To take your take your clothes off and all that shit. I don't want to go through all that shit. This if we're spending time together, be prepared. Quest. Show clothes that be off. No socks. <laughs> Have yourself moist. I'm going to just, when we get there. I'm gonna just <laughs> be honest with you. I ain't got them about five minutes of dick for you. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, Take it or leave it. I mean, I, at least I was honest with you. Take yeah, it or leave six, it. Five minutes is a long time. You go in five minutes. You might get goddamn fifteen pumps. You might get two. I, it, it depends on. That's, a, that's a big decision. That's but a big you gotta make it worth it. And it also depends on the type of woman it is. It is. Think so, about this. Sometimes I be tired. If you meet a chick and she's not really <laughs> your tired. type, you for, for us. If we meet a chick, maybe, tired, and she's not really our type, off of blue shoe or on blue shoe. Off blue chick. Off blue chick okay. If we meet a chick, because you know you, that initial heart always comes. But like, yeah. let's say you meet a chick, you're not really into her, but hell, you want some pussy, so you kind of just, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're like, okay, boom, boom, no, boom. No, I'm going to no. take you home, I'm going to beat it up. And then she's like, round two, miss, I got to go. I told you I only had five minutes. <laughs> I ain't got to go. This you five can, minutes is fucking me up. Five I'm, minutes is. is I'm going to be honest, if I'm not even feeling you, I is. Yeah, man, look. look. And I, I, from your angle, I respect that, but there are some of these. Uh, situations where you know, <laughs> my my <laughs> my days of taking one for the team is over. I done done that way too many times in my First life. Like, we at the age we too old to be doing two man missions. I'm not doing that shit. We too no. old. We too old to no. be doing two man missions now. Oh, we're at that point of age now. We're too old to be doing two man missions. Two man missions. This motherfucker, she talk about you like it. Like, God damn, you like it. God damn, I wish you heard the fuck up. <laughs> Look, the most, the most, the most that I will do is talk to the girl. I will make her feel special, but I ain't gonna make her feel that damn special. How special is this? This, 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 this special, special, this special. Hey, this the Miyagi special one. So, come over here. Let me go ahead and get you a drink. <laughs> and now look, look, I'm texting the homeboy, <laughs> nigga. If you don't hurry the fuck up, you better get, up, you better get, get your Hurry this shit up, so I can go. So I had a homeboy one time. He told me, he told me, you know, what I'm saying, it's, it's a long time ago, long, 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 long. I don't think nobody reads it because uh, yeah, no. <laughs> this, this, this one, back in our polish days, yeah, this Tennessee days. Anyway, two thousand two and a half. Oh, my homeboy said he said, man, it ain't, it ain't. She look good, but it don't, it ain't really that. So I'm, I, I gotta find out for myself, you know. Mm -hmm. So I find out for myself. We Eskimo Bros. Yeah, we getting it in, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't get that damn. I'm in here hidden. 
but it wouldn't get no goddamn moist. You hear me? Like I'm like I'm, I'm giving you every goddamn thing I got. You hear me? <laughs> Her water faucet was broken. <laughs> That oh, bitch water faucet was broken. Right, so, 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 a a so that's where it come to where it come to my mind. I said, oh, that's what he meant. And, you know, after got done, you know, a couple days later, she got mad. She's she like, you wasn't no good to me. I said, hey, my homeboy told me your pussy wasn't no goddamn. Good. He so, said that she was trash. He said, I, I came with no expectation. You know, I, you know, I, I, I came, I saw, I, I, I didn't conquer <laughs> at all. You know, but was, it's gonna get to a point. You get a girl like they gonna have water bottle in your ass. Yeah, that motherfucker heard pussy. Hey. I don't think that 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 I, that ain't the same kind of loop. I know I'm talking shit. Yeah. At all. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hurry up! Having sex in the shower was the worst thing in the world. Too. I'm like, how's a woman this fine? <laughs> you can't get what? Well, you can't. It might have been me. She, she might not be attractive. Sometimes you, you can be fine. She man. might be gay. No. Nah. Could be. No. Why the fuck would you look at me? <laughs> he, 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 he's talking about you, man. <laughs> no, I'm just my bad. My bad, Daniel. <laughs> I ain't mean like that. You just look first in my eyes. Never. So you drop it? First of all, never. My bad. I ain't mean like that. But I was just saying, like, in general. She so might be. call my best friend a drug bitch? All right. She might have been gay. She's like, St. Louis Summer Night? <laughs> Speaking of, gay, speaking, of, speaking of gay girls. You're supposed to be my mother. I got you. I see. I get you fucked up. You ain't gonna say you was summer night. Speaking of gay girls, man. I was, what was I? It might have been my mom. I was somewhere. Back in my Tennessee days. No, I just went to Tennessee. It was like, like I'm, I was down in the city somewhere. So, you know, girl came out the store. She was bad. I, mean, I look, I spoke. That's all I do. I don't, I am not trying to go to that spoke. A little, a little man boy. <laughs> We don't know them precisely. He's just going on what he, what he sees. A he's little man like, boy calls. He's like, hey, why oh, you looking at my girl? I look at us and shit hell. I'm looking at your ass too, goddamn. Come on. You can have fun. Have fun. Because it did. At the end of the day, you ain't got no dangling down there. She can pull out a strap bigger than yours. She ain't gonna pull out no strap. Oh, that shit happened to me. Cause she wasn't ugly. She can pull out a strap bigger than yours. The little homie, the little homie wasn't ugly. The, the stud. Yeah, she just tried. She tried. She, she, she tried her <laughs> best to look like a homie. Oh, said, that look, shit happened to me at yeah, night. I, I said you look good. That shit happened to me at night. I'm looking at you too. She had a head back there. They don't even use trying to wear no goddamn big ass, no pants. They ass you now. Come on. That happened Take to me at night. You now used to work there. Now. <laughs> I did. Come on, yeah. take my no, place. That, that girl was ugly, though. No, nah, this one. That, but, 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 but her girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Shit. I was trying to have a menage. <laughs> hey. A menage twice. No, I was menage. trying to fuck menage the girlfriend. The girlfriend was fun. But she was one of those girls that I didn't know was gay. Like, she was just one of those girls I didn't know was gay. Mm -hmm. And then I started talking to her. I was like, oh. Okay, it makes sense now. But like it was the girl, the girl that I was trying to holler, holler at was so fucking fine. I was like, damn, she fine as hell. Man, I'm trying to holler her. Her little stud man thing person came around and was like, <laughs> hey, you know it's my girl. That's what's so funny. They be trying. I was to make like, loosen up your tone, Tyrone. Stop <laughs> that. Okay. They be trying to make your little voice deep. These yeah. names. You know it's my girl. Shut up. Stud man, my wow, man. With a belt. <laughs> Gingerbread man. <laughs> Yeah, I so her girl, the girl was laughing because I was talking to her. I said, "She, my attention off you. I want you little. I want, I want her." I said, "Cause the end of the day, she still got to take your hair off. <laughs> damn it. You take that goddamn hat off. That hair falling now. You not no nigga." Well, she had no hair. Was she bald like us? No, she wasn't. Bald. Bro, she had hair and everything. Yeah. You gonna pull that you know one stud bumping up? I said, <laughs> "I told her. I said, I think look. it's time to log out." <laughs> I said, oh, I got hair on stud at ballpark. I said, some nigga done hurt you. She was like, damn, you so damn fine. You made me want to go straight. I said, thank what you, she mean? She was a nice little slim chick. I don't think so. She was she, like. If she was big, she was going to fuck your little ass, bro. Bro, she was going to fuck you. She was going to throw your ass out there. Come here, little nigga. I don't feel safe. You wasn't going to feel safe at that moment either. She was going to get your little ass on over here. Come on. Because I'm like, my, I, I like Amazon chicks. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a thick girl. I don't feel safe. Yeah, I like Amazon chicks. About, you know, about, about six foot. Seven foot and a half. One no. seven to two hundred. <laughs> you, you six foot, you like, damn, cuz. That's your bad. Your bitch on the ground. Like that, that's just a preference, but I, I do like, you know, one one setting it up. You tall mm -hmm. when you laying down, let's find more than a couple. No more than about 210. Mm -hmm. No more than a couple. Ain't gonna look that bad either. If you <laughs> six one, six yeah, two, whatever. I just wanna see you with a six one one. <laughs> <laughs> I have been. I know. <laughs> she was tall as shit. Everybody was like, can I have some more? Mm -hmm. I was like, hey. Got them Amazon, well, that's what I call. And then she hugged me, I was like, am I getting school? I got one. Oh. There's one to work with at my job where I work at. <laughs> and 
that we be making that content. <laughs> so I'm she thinking, knows. so I'm like, that damn it. Are we thinking about who gonna fuck who? Am I gonna oh, win? Shit. Cause this gonna be a 12 round bout. This motherfucker about 6'1. She ain't been a bit of 200, but she ain't no bad to it. Like, she kinda she built like no bad. Got her ass and everything. I'm just shit. Where the fuck these tall people be at that y'all be playing? Shit, it's just outside. Yeah, she tall. She you go outside a little more. You don't go outside too often. You just, you'll see a tall one. I don't, because every nigga I see is my height. Oh, right, right. Oh, damn. Yeah. You know, she looks tall. You gotta bench out. If she, she needs to, but she, she not, she's an introvert. <laughs> to the fullest. Yeah, I, I see tall women all the time. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna get you outside a little more around my birthday. Let's go to the mall or something. Let's go to the mall. Find them, we'll find you a good lizard liquor, liquor, too. A good lizard liquor. Yeah. <laughs> a good lizard liquor. <laughs> You so know you don't be disappointed no more. I be like, look, I be like, look, I ain't know it alone. That doing karaoke and shit. I be like, I ain't know it alone, but I like it though. You know, so with all this sex. Think about that Cam Newton situation, which and the lady talking about he, all these break, broken homes. I, I didn't watch that, y'all. I just oh 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 um. Him having all the kids and ladies like you don't really want to be married. You uh you making broken homes. Bitch, my business. He asked the question. Oh, and he went sorry. And he interviewed it. Take it back. And she's a therapist. I think she's a therapist. No, therapist. because look, look. Yeah. When when people say shit like that, they're trying to put their thoughts and opinions on you. Is this because he has eighteen kids shit. and they all live in whatever they Different do? Places. He's taking care of them. That's all that fucking matters. Her point to the question was: He making broken homes? Because no, it's he, not. Even if he's taking care of them, them kids. No, because a broken home would be two people trying to work shit out, and it's not working. That's a broken home. But they're not working at all. But the but same, but look, okay, let's say you get into a situation mm -hmm. where you're dating someone. Mm -hmm. You and that girl just for whatever reason cannot fucking get together. Y'all can't live together, work together. But y'all have a genuine appreciation for one another and y'all are about the kid. That's not a broken home because it's better for a kid to grow up in two separate homes than to fuck up ass home for all that nigga's energy. So in that case, no. And I don't know what his situation is, but if you're taking care of a kid, other shit don't matter. I go for you. I'm gonna let y'all have it. Cause I feel like for me, it's a yes and no situation. Yes, you take care of all these kids. That what you gonna do as a black man? Take care of your kids. But in a form, it is a broken home because now you live this way. What man gonna want to be with that woman after she has a kid with another man? Depends on how many kids they got. Right. So now you're really making a broken home because you're not gonna be with the woman that you got the kids with. And now uh, another nigga don't want to be with her, so she's never gonna have a family because she has kids with you, and the other niggas ain't gonna want her because she has some kids. There's a lot of shit not being told. What's the situation? The because best. every situation ain't bad. No, you know what I'm saying? All his situation was he said all his situation with the kids is he's in all his kids' life, mm -hmm. all eight nine of them. He take care of them. They don't want for nothing underneath for them. But the broken home parts come. The lady said because now the women when they try to be with somebody. The people, I, they ain't gonna find a man to be because no man gonna be with kids. Because as a woman, if I have multiple kids with. So yeah. This person, and and you go about your your business. I feel like that is kind of like a broken home because now I have so many kids. You don't want to be with me. What next man is gonna? And I, 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 it, it's all a, a big ass conundrum. I get it. I get. I, I get it. Big words. Big words. <laughs> anyway, I get it. I get the whole situation. Yeah, she would come. You know. <laughs> But I, I do get it. But at the same time, you never know what that person has gone through. Mm -hmm. It could be a situation where motherfuckers was hella young, they got married and type shit, mm -hmm. and the shit just didn't work out. Or it could be, you know, maybe they kept fighting against one another. But, you know, you have to look at it from a standpoint. If the mother and the father are respectful of one another, mm -hmm. and it's about their kid, it's not as bad of a situation for somebody to come in who doesn't have kids, or whatever the case may be. As opposed to somebody, if I were to go to a situation where a girl had three kids, I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> right, shit. and one baby daddy, mm -hmm. the, the father's involved, but they're always constantly arguing, then that might, you know, permeate for the, how she treats me and things like that, or how she goes about her relationship. Because she might be thinking, oh, I'm so used to that motherfucking yelling, I may be used to you doing it, and I'm the totally opposite. So it just all depends. On the situation. Yeah, okay, I guess in that sense, a broken home in that sense mm -hmm. makes sense. So, but I was looking at it as the aspect of the kids be taken care of. I mean, the kids be well, taken care of, but the father still don't have to, like, be there and be present. <clears throat> yeah. well, I think it's good for the men. My bad. 
Okay. Well, what I'm gonna say, y'all, it's just gonna be not that me real. Yeah, it's gonna be a little. This is some old about to come out real quick. As a father of five, damn, <laughs> four different women. I guess I done fucked up a lot of homes. <laughs> Why did you look at me? <laughs> he called you dry. He said, <laughs> you know, so, "Shots fired at you tonight." <laughs> I don't think so I, I guess I guess they're considered me fucking up homes because I got five kids by four different women. But okay. all my kids are well taken care of. It's one of them, it's I one get them. along with the moms. Now <laughs> <laughs> it's one of them it's one of them situations like it's a lose win. Cause you can be with have kids with somebody and y'all not work out and still be a great parent. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. you get in the other side of now, as a culture of black men, we feel like we're too good to be with a woman that got killed with another, woman, another man. Mm-hmm. It's the stupidest shit in the world. Everybody fucks. It happens. I'd rather talk to a woman that got kids. Because they have more understanding to you having kids mm-hmm. than a woman that don't have kids. They're like, oh, you put your kids for me. I, Duh, I mean, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I think the men have age, conversation. I really be trying to be understanding when it comes to my fucking kids. Because mm-hmm. I get it. You want to see your parents shit? Mm-hmm. I get it. But understand, I'm not going to always be the back burner. Mm-hmm. If it's serious, the you, but you shouldn't be the back burner, but you should also, in a sense, I know you how you are. There's women out here where they get upset that you put your kids first. Oh, no. Yeah, and they be like, oh, well, instead of talking to me, you taking care of your kids. That's fucked up. No, motherfucker, if but I just, didn't. Just don't sit. I understand because I was just talking to somebody and kids. I understand. But again, mm-hmm. I don't. I rather you put your kids first, but don't be in my ear. So when we go hang out, and every time we make a fucking date to hang out, I got my kids. Oh, no, I got my kids. At this point, I feel like you should just move on to somebody else because I don't want to have my time wasted. Then I always find dudes who be like, oh, I don't want no more kids. Well, then. I... It's important. <laughs> I can't talk to if you're going to get into a relationship with somebody like that who you has children, you talk to me then. If you have a place. If you're going to talk to somebody, I think it's important for the men to talk. The the new, the, the new, talk. the men, like the baby daddy and the new boyfriend, whatever the case may be. Well, I'll say boyfriend, they're going to introduce them to kid, yeah, anyways. Well, so, yeah, the boy. the baby daddy? No. Okay, so. I have never. Okay, so. But I think it's important. Okay. It should have. It depends on how the relationship is. Like, if I fuck with a chick and her baby daddy don't, it's not involved in life, there's no point in me having a conversation with him. Well, correct. But. If the dad is involved, I'm going to be around your kids. I don't give a fuck how old your motherfucking kids is. Mm-hmm. They're still your kids. So mm-hmm. I'm going to give the respect of the man and let him know I ain't trying to play daddy. I ain't none of that shit. I always tell people I don't want to meet your kids yet. Until no, we, of course. Until yeah. we figure out where our relationship exactly. is going, right. I don't want to meet your kids yet because I don't want to be attached to your kids coming around all the time and then shit don't want now, to Now that situation touch. I wish I've ever had. I've never had that. Then they be like, There's a lot of women out here that are opposite of that and it's weird to me. To see, like, oh, you don't talk to me in front of your child. Why would I talk to you in front of my child? We've we, we, we been that. talking for two, three days. Why the fuck am I? Oh, yeah, that shit weird. Yeah, I don't even know about life. Let me tell you what the fuck happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 weird. it's like, I've, I've seen people in situations where they choose to not talk on the phone in front of their kids. And, like, oh, look, I'm about to. Hell, I will. Like, if, I, I, if I was, if I would do the same thing, I'm like, hey, I'm with my daughter. I got to do her night routine. We, hey, I'll talk to you when I'm done with her. Right. I don't need I'd be like, oh, you such a good daddy. But if I'm like, oh, no, that, that, that's okay. weird. That's weird. No. You weird. You, you're, you're, you are, oh, she permanent. You are a season. Mm. You're temporary. You, you're temporary. <laughs> you, you might not be here tomorrow. Can be but, but the next day, that motherfucker's going to be here. I'm going to tell her, you think that's weird. bad. Think I'm weird because I don't want to talk to you when I'm with my daughter. Yeah. You're fucking weird. I tell you this, the year was 2012 to 2014, some shit like that. Jesus Christ. The years. The years, yeah. Okay. So I was dating this story. chick, and I had met her out a long time ago. Well, that's back when the landing was popping. Mm-hmm. I met her out there and shit. We actually had a, a date, like, next couple of days. I'm like, hell yeah, we can go out. So we went to Culver's. That's a good food. Culver's is pretty good. Cheese oh, really good. It is good. <laughs> you not, that was, uh, nigga, my, I thought my fuck said he was going somewhere good. Then he said, we went to Culver's. He said, Culver's, <laughs> Culver's is good. We Culver's, Culver's is good. That was the crazy part. The crazy part is, I thought it was going to be her or not. Why the case. fuck I meet three kids? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's back in the case. Strike one, strike two, strike three. Mm-hmm. Did you so, know that you got kids? 
Yeah, but I think she's gonna bring one fucking date. Like that's a situation where you're supposed to communicate that you and yeah. Like, so Red Culvers, I'm thinking back in my head, bitch, I'm not paying for all these niggas. That's why she brought them. They, they, you they, they have that right. And that's too. another. I don't. I don't like when females do that. Like, mm-hmm. tell this nigga <laughs> that you bringing the crew. With and the, you. you know how kids can get attached quick if you have a good personality. Yeah, that's what you should. These do. motherfuckers, the, the, the kids are like, man, I love you. <laughs> I don't fucking know you. <laughs> <laughs> I can see behind that. Oh shit. Mm. 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 Power Rangers on them. I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet me. I play. I play. Bye, little nigga. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Thank hey, you, mama. <laughs> I don't have kids. <laughs> I just play. I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm no, that's real. Good. But you, some people be like that. It's women out here that be like, oh, you ain't a man and you ain't paying for me and my kids' food. Bitch, if I wasn't here, that's who, like who, 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 who paying pay for your food if I wasn't here? Yourself. That's like them females that be like, we're going on a date, but then he show up, but she show up with two of her friends. With two of her friends and they paying for all of us. No, oh, you think that's bad? Oh, shit. So I had another date. This was like 2018. You've been dating for like 45 years. So you gotta, you gotta remember this. Go ahead. Dating this girl. Met her on Facebook. We played video games. That's your first mistake. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, yeah, <too. laughs> we got together and, uh, went to Longhorn. Steakhouse. Yes. You we went to go you eat. I was like, okay, bet. I hope you get some coochie after that one. Probably not. Probably not. It's all right. No, I didn't. Yeah. Anywho, <laughs> I had to think about that shit. So I was like, all right, cool. This is like, oh yeah, the last second. Uh, I'm gonna bring my kid. Bitch, what? Excuse you? Okay, fuck it. Let's have some fun. Luckily, because uh, Karan, my little nephew, is thirty. Mm-hmm. Well, no, he's fourteen now, but he was he's seven. Yeah. He was seven at the age that her kid was seven. Fucking perfect, nigga. Enjoy the fuck out of him. I literally told him that. Give the fuck you want and enjoy the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. Sat them down. We're talking. So yeah, of course I bought. My, my nephew's meal and her meal. And then she was like, so what can my son get? <laughs> Where's that so is? wait. Where's that is? You want me to pay for your son's shit? All right, you know what? I'm trying to see, have a good time, whatever case. I'll go ahead and pay for it. Exactly. This bitch ordered this nigga steak and lobster. Ho, what the fuck is you That's doing? That's a grown person meal. When I compare you to the steak and lobster, is grown. I was like, bitch, what the fuck is you doing? You ordering your motherfucking kids that shit? Mm-hmm. Steak on, on, on the first date? Uh, that's grown people food. Think about his kids. He can't get no. that shit. Compared to like, that's grown people Now, obviously, obviously, the shit was a lot lower back then because, you know, times mm-hmm. are different. But shit, that shit was expensive. 50 bucks for all. At that moment yeah. in time, my black ass and my nephew were going to get the fuck up and walk out. Well, we his bathroom. Nephew needs his bathroom? All right. Come play your he, can't, he can't use bathroom by himself. I got to take him to the bathroom. I and I know some people out there probably say, that's fucked up. Well, fuck you. Mm-hmm. But anyway. No, some real shit is... Don't hey, don't expect me to do something. Let me do this shit on my own. Kindness of my heart. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me don't try to in. force it on. Me. Don't bring nobody. Don't bring that nobody was a crazy relationship. Not relationship, like a situation ship. Okay, all right. Because even after our first date, like a week later, she asked me to babysit her kid. Oh my god, what the it's fuck is going on? So let me say that one day. My brother needs to go therapy. He do. He he didn't have some trauma. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I was like, what? You need somebody right here sitting on. Are you laying on the couch? Like sitting here looking at you like this. <laughs> Fine. And she's like, how does that make you feel? The shit fucked up. <laughs> did you, in that moment, did you feel like less of a man? We can't talk to Kevin Sanders no more. And then you no, got to no. go, hmm. Mm. Mm. You ain't writing no paper. What the fuck you writing no paper? Yeah, Kevin mm. Sanders is wrong. We can't talk to him no more. Yeah, it's just, it was just, I've had some crazy situations today. Why don't you just, why don't you just like, for like two years, just. I be dodging a fuck just, out of just this shit. You see yourself for two years. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm talking about that one day in life. You see yourself for two years. Yeah, see what happened. I did that. No, did it, was, it wasn't two years. <laughs> it was way less than that, motherfucker. Yeah. I know. Beforehand, though. Yeah, yes. It was a little bit like that. You, you know what, put though? The, put the blue chew down and just be to yourself. Yeah, it. <laughs> like, y'all, man, it's blue just, chew. you know what's crazy? It's like, <laughs> I have my Sponsor moments. Blue chew. I have my moments where I'm like, I just want to sit here and chill, uh-huh. and I'll be having my moments like, damn, I want to kick it with somebody. Yeah, so you want to mess clothes with somebody else? Thank you, dude. <laughs> hey, what'd you say? Yeah, mom, you want to mess clothes with somebody. Clothes. <laughs> if that happens to happen, then it happens. But that's not the objective. This show makes me so glad that I do not have kids. Cause what the fuck? <laughs> 
What kind of fucking situation? When they grow up, this is what I become. Become just like this. My thing is, your situation, you have some bullshit. Yeah. And, and let me would have been there and the kids that showed up. Boy, I would have been like, yeah. <laughs> I was just slobbing. No. Yeah. That's why Vaughn's talking about what I'm going to do. Squeeze the five or six. Yeah, they kids damn near my age. Yeah, we did be. We ain't gonna have a bit together. Have your own shit. We watch these motherfuckers might pay for mine just out of curiosity. I'm a guest. Shit, you do get them ARP discounts. There you go. You got it right on top of your veteran, your veteran discounts. Ooh. Ooh. We on the side. Like 40% off? Shit. Jeez. This is the oldest fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's only two old niggas on the show right now. <laughs> Who is that? One a veteran, the other one just. Oh, God. <laughs> he he looking you know. on. <laughs> <laughs> we old man, but hey, I'm pretty. Is this what is it, as as a, this is what life is all about? As man, somebody man. in my thirties, <laughs> first off, <laughs> right? I was about to say. First of all, first of all, put your finger down. Put your finger down. First, first off, <laughs> is this what I have to look forward to dating older men? Yeah, yeah. So I had this conversation on my way here. <laughs> You got, you got to, uh, I'm going to let me talk. Good. It's all about type of people oh because I'm a very hyper individual. Hmm. So it depends on the individual. Some people are more chill. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've dated a guy who actually is very chill. Yeah. But then, that. you know, people like myself, I'll be here in one moment talking to you about whatever. Then I'll like think about something else. And then, you know, so I'm not talking to other place. Just hyper. That's hot. Yeah, I can't sit down still. That's hot. I just be hyper. And then, and then this is like a hyper, like I'm jumping all over the place. This is more like I be appreciating the moments and shit that I'm in. So, yeah. yeah. You know, you, we all got little tell you, you talk to older man, you know. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, you, get, you heard what you said. You talk to, to an older man. You know, talk to an older man. You got to go to Walmart and get some Tylenol arthritis. Mm. Because mm. I should be fucked up sometimes. Mm. Yeah. I'm the side shit. shit was side shit. Side. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, side shit. Side shit. Oh, oh side damn. Shit. What do you say, you? What you say <laughs> bad boys one? He, he kicked Teresa out. I'm just playing. Now you're going to have a nigga leg like this. You ain't even get this nut out. First off, he, he, he <laughs> tore his, he, he, he strained his, 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 his thigh muscle from the bone. So... Right up my, my hamstring. His hamstring from the bone. He, like a piece of chicken in the motherfucker. Tore. Tore. Mm -hmm. It's healed up now. I was out for a while. He's out for about two months. Massage that shit. What Mike say in Bad Boys 1, he took two to Teresa out. She's a masseuse. She massaged this shit. <laughs> hey, that right here, <laughs> just by you being. Yeah, you you gonna kiss somebody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's natural hair for me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, now. Got all black on. Yeah, it. I see. But that's another episode, if you will. Yeah, peace out, boy. Sid coming out. Go ahead, put, 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 put your show out there, brother. Oh. Y'all gotta go follow him on Facebook. I'm gonna post it on the link. I'm gonna post it below. I'm gonna put the picture of his show in the title. But what's the name of the show, brother? Ten Four Corner. Drip proof shot Buddha. Drip by Buddha. I'm sorry, people. This Ten Four Corner podcast. We go live on Sunday nights, eight o'clock p.m. Central Time on Facebook. Put it at the beginning of the show. We get on the intro and I put it in the show. Go link, go watch Sundays. We're supposed to be on there one of these days if we get invited. They, we don't, they we don't, we don't lift enough yeah. weights to be on his podcast. They be yeah. lifting weight weights. So one of these days we lift some little weight weights we can get on his podcast. You know, I have to show you because they been gym and <laughs> shit that podcast where they lift weights. They, they fast. Hey, motherfuckers. Oh, shit. <laughs> and nigga, like 250 subscribers on YouTube. That's five. That's five. His tongue got heavy. That's five. Don't 250 <laughs> subscribers on YouTube. Don't talk no more. <laughs> Make sure you all go over there and subscribe so we can go live in this bitch. Because a lot of y'all are watching the videos, but not all y'all are subscribed to the videos. It's okay. Subscribe. We all for a reason. You, if, you, if you get us a thousand subscribers, I will do a video of me growing my hair back for three months. Oh, Lord. Dang. I ain't doing no shit like that. Vine's going to do it with me. That shit, not the fuck Vine's I'm not. Vine's going to do it with me. And Sid might do it too. I ain't gonna have no brave. I'm gonna definitely have a brave We don't do it for <laughs> three months. If I get a thousand subscribers, we'll Hey, if I grow my motherfucking hair out for three months, I'm coming back with a kid. I'm gonna have waves. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Man weave, nigga. Nigga, full of shit. This is another episode, if you will. See you next time. time. <laughs> we have already said that you. We keep not talking. <laughs>